Right, so I've seen a lot of these fake guru self-defense masters recently online and uh, they seem to think they can defend against anything, whether it's a gun or a knife or any attack that is, is humanly possible. And a lot of it is a load of rubbish, right? So be careful what you listen to, but you can listen to me. So today, that's why I'm gonna go through some self-defense tactics or survival tactics that you can do if you find yourself in a situation like this where someone is approaching you on the street. So, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna go through is a bit of gun defense. And when I say gun defense, I mean like tactics, because you can't really defend against a gun, right? You're not a superhero. So you've got to have some tactics if you wanna have the best chance of surviving or getting out un uninjured. So if you wanna pr pretend you've got a gun, you've got some gun fingers there. So if someone is coming at you with a gun, right? Don't do this, right? Because that, that is stupid. That, I don't know, I don't know what, he's thinking right if in a, in a real situation you've got a gun to your head right he's, you can't just go right right yeah just just stay there while I set this up for five minutes let me just set up my my attack yeah that's not gonna happen because he's gonna either pop here or he's just gonna you know get annoyed and it's it's not gonna work out realistically the safest thing to do is whatever he's whatever the, the person with the gun is asking you to do just do it right it's not worth risking your life um, so if he's asking you to empty your pockets you know get everything out um, you know you just got to do it you've um, Empty pockets. You know, if you've Boy. got. Anyway, on a reel, right, it is important that you just do what they ask because otherwise, you know, it's not, it's, they're not likely to, uh, to be prepared to, you know, actually do anything with the gun, but you don't want, don't call their bluff, right, don't risk it. Just do what, do what they say and hopefully then you can get out of it. Um, you know, don't try any of that stupid knocking superhero stuff because, you know, you're going to, you're going to get deleted, right? It's going to, it's going to pop you. Yeah, there's no point because any of your possessions are not as valuable as your life, right? So get out your possessions, give it to them. You'd rather walk away with your life than your phone, for example. So there's a little, little bit of tips for you because obviously you're not gonna outfight a gun, right? It's not gonna happen. Um, and if you're trying any of that stuff, you know, all you're gonna do is, you know, if what if you miss? If you miss that, right, put, put your fingers up. If you miss that, you miss that, right? And, and you don't get the gun. He's still got the gun, and then all you've done is you've made a man with a gun angry, right? And that's the last person you want to make angry, is a man standing with a gun, all right? So, yeah, don't do that. So, just be safe, take the stuff out of your pockets, and uh, when you're out, call the police, let them deal with it. All right, so if you uh, hold this dangerous knife, very dangerous. So next up, we're going to do some simple sort of knife knife defense. Um, so the first thing to do, if someone is approaching you with a blade, uh, obviously your first option is just run, like get out of there. Um, because obviously this is a little bit different to the gun. You know, you can't outrun a bullet, but you can outrun a, a knife, right? So get out of there. Um, obviously, if, if the option is not there to run, for example, if, if you're surrounded or if he's cornering you, he's got you in, in a bit of a corner, if the option to run is not there, my first piece of advice would be keep your distance, obviously. You don't want to be in distance with a blade. Um, because if he's if he's trying to threaten you, you know, he's coming towards you, you want to keep your distance. Um, and what I would say is, again, if you're in a corner and you have to defend yourself, I would say keep them at legs distance, right? So you can, you can use your legs. What you don't want to do, generally, what I wouldn't do is if you sort of yeah, just come come a bit closer. What I wouldn't do is try and get in close and try and you know you know throw some punches or something because here you're in stabbing range. You're in direct stabbing range. Yeah, you want to be at your legs range away, right? Because if I'm if I'm here, stabbing range there. If I'm here, legs range, I can hit him with my legs. But if he's if he tries to stab me from there, there's no nowhere, nowhere near. That's why I would say. Keep him at your legs distance, right? Throw some kicks there, or a simple front kick. Even you don't need to know how to kick properly. You know, if you if you put put your put your arm out straight there, right? I can still reach his groin with with my front kick. Yeah. So if he's if he's coming at you like that, give him a quick kick to the groin, and that's going to send most men down, unless you're unless you've got bollocks of steel. Um, 
I don't know, which, which he hasn't. So yeah, it's gonna send most men down. So that would be my first point of advice. Keep them at legs distance, right? Don't let them get any closer, yeah? Throw kicks, simple kicks, just front kicks, anything like that. Even if you can't kick, just swing your leg. Push your leg out, push him away, you know? I would rather, yeah, you might say, if your leg is there, he can slash my leg, yeah? But I'd rather have a slash leg than a slash neck, okay? I'd rather be at this range and get a, get a cut on my leg than be at this range and then cut your neck. So that would be the first point of advice. So for example, he's got a, a pad there for his own protection, obviously. Um, so if he's going to start walking towards me with the blade, what you want to do is you want to give him a quick uh, a kick, just put your legs out, right? Because if you let him get close, again, you're in, you're in stabbing range, right? So if you stand back a little bit and start walking towards me with the blade, right? All right, go for it, yeah? You want to give him a kick, yeah? Keep him at distance, yeah? Keep him at sort of, Keep him out of range of his blade. That's just the main point here. And once you've maybe connected with, with a strike, maybe you've, you've stuck your leg out, you've drilled in a nice, sorry. You, you've drilled in a nice, a, a nice connecting, uh, connecting kick and then run, all right? Once you've delivered a kick, you've got him off guard, you've got him, you know, disorientated or whatever, just get out of there, okay? As soon as you've got his focus off of you, so if I, I won't kick you too hard, but say if, if he's coming towards me slowly and I give him a quick, groin kick, right, and he's, he's gone like that, run, get out of there. Yeah, so you wanna, you wanna leave as quickly as possible. Don't stay for longer than you have to, okay? And this is, this is, again, this is only if you can't run away at first, right? Always, especially if there's a weapon, right, as deadly as that knife is, right there. Right, it's, it's, it's a butter knife, right, but just pretend it's a big knife. Um, as, de as deadly as a, as a weapon is, don't ever risk trying to fight it if you don't need to. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to some hand-to-hand -hand stuff. So, if, so, if obviously if there's no weapons involved, you know, just someone is starting on you, he's giving it the big and giving it the mouth, he's talking at you, he's trying to provoke you to, to start something. Um, obviously, again, you wanna try and get out of there. You don't, wanna, uh, you don't wanna feed into it. Just walk away if you can. Uh, but obviously, sometimes things do get too much and you might have to do something. So, for example, a common one that people uh, might use is a grab. So you go two-handed grab, like that. Uh, what you want to do from here is you want to disable his weapons, right? And his weapons are his arms and his head, right? You can come in for a headbutt there. He could, he could let go, hit me with any of these arms. He could do what he wants, basically. So what you want to do, you want to raise up your arms. And you, so, you know, you've got the head covered there. And then the way you, get, you can get out of this is you want to put your arm, your forearm, on their biceps like this, or on the upper arm. And then the way you, the way you can evade this is you slide down, so you drag down their arm, pull them in, and now you've got them in. And now you've got control of them, right? They've lost their weapons, right? They, I've got control of his hands now. He can't come out and hit me now. I've, he's lost his head. He can't, he can't get me. My head's here, it's tucked away. Okay, and then from here, you can do what you want. You know, you can throw in your punch of your own. You can throw in a knee to the, to the outside leg, which is, is not nice, you get a dead leg. And then you can also, you can take him down, do what you want here, and get out. You <laughs> right, so next we're going to go into uh, the most commonly used punch in the street fight, right? The most untrained and unskillful punch you can possibly throw. A just wild, a wild swinging haymaker, right? That's, that's, what, that's what they all go for. Um, obviously, no one's going to throw clean, straight punches in the street, are they really? I mean, g generally. So, you've got, you've got a drunk idiot, right? He's coming up to you, he's, fr he's throwing a massive punch. Um, yeah, so if you, if you slowly, so he's throwing a massive punch right across the jaw there, and uh, basically, yeah. So obviously, the, the number one rule is you don't want to be hit. So you can either, if you go slowly, you can either get out of the way, you know, duck back, and then maybe come in with something else, or I think the better one is if you come again, you get inside of it, right? So arms up, arms up, you come inside the punch, and then you, from here, you've got uh, more options. So you cover this one obviously for this hand. Um, maybe you can grab that, come up with a knee, you know, or you can come round, come for another take up, take down. Um, obviously, there's a few options from there. Uh, an another thing we could do with this, if you come again with this arm. So we come in here. You obviously covered that one. You maybe put this put this arm down to cover and come in with a nice elbow there. That's deadly, right? And then get away and leave. Another one is, if, if we go slowly again, another one, if he's coming in, you get inside again, hands up, covering this one, you step right behind, and then you've got an easy throw. You push him with this one, and he's over there. And then, you know, finish, whatever you have to do. 
Next one, uh, also a pretty common one in like a street fight scenario would be a headlock. So someone's grabbing your headlock like so. Someone's got you there, you know, they're not letting go. Uh, the thing that I would do from here is you, you've got a hand free, right? So I'd put my hand, I'd have it here, and then all you need to do is push their weight back. Your knee's already there. If you bend in your knee, get into a nice low stance here and get your, your knee behind theirs, all you've got to do is send your weight back and they're over, and they're over that knee. So if we, if we go again, sorry, is he right? No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> we have been enjoying this. Right. He's got me in a headlock, right? We're flying around, he's dragging me around, whatever. Right, I've got this hand free. I'll put this hand here. And then obviously you could, you've got whatever you want there. So that would be my defense for a headlock. You make sure you get into a nice deep stance, which is, if you know karate is similar to a kibadach stance. So you get into, which is like a horse stance. So you bend your knees nice and low, you're in the headlock. All you need to do is push them over that knee. Thank you for watching. I hope you can take some of these tips that I've given you uh, on board and maybe use them if you need to. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Um, but yeah, it's a, a bit more of a lighthearted video at the start, but obviously there's some real stuff in there. But obviously, yeah, above all, try to avoid these situations. If you can, run away. You don't, you don't look like a, like a wimp if you run away, alright, it's just smart. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe if you want more like this. And also drop a comment, let, let me know if you want some more videos like this, if you want some different kind of uh, self-defense scenario sort of thing. Um, and yeah, please make sure you like the video, as I just said, I don't know why I said it twice, but yeah. Like it, subscribe, comment, see you later.